this one is sort of knee jerk. Uh, I'm going to just be honest with that. This is more knee jerk. It's kind of what I wanted my channel to be anyway, just knee jerk reactions to stuff. But I don't know. I just found myself it's better to just kind of give it a few minutes or maybe a day or a week and come back to it if it was important enough to remember. But for this one, it was sparked by a Medium post entitled, Now Hear This. This at first is coercive. And under that, it says, some say listen when they actually mean comply. And right below that, uh, what uh, caption representation of a picture, it says black people created Black Lives Matter and then white people created All Lives Matter. And then it says pictorial representation below. And it's of um, well, this picture here. I'll just show it right here. Um, so that's what that is. And um, before I get into this deep as I want to, honestly, I'm, I'm going to say this. Um, I was like, hmm. Huh. It's a nice Photoshop. I kept looking at it. I'm going to leave it on screen. You know, maybe you can deduce it as I did. But I was like, you know what? It First thing I thought was, wow, that white hand is very pretty. It's soft and plush looking. It's it's just nice. Something I want to just kind of touch. It's, it's, it's nice. Nice nails. I thought I wish the nails were more blue or something like that. Not black. Not, not for that one. Nah. But I looked at the black girl and I was like, man, she is crying. Now, what's making her cry? It, it obviously must be the representation of the white hand covering her so she can't talk, so she's obviously in pain. So, you know, let's just sever that hand. It's a pretty hand, but it's got to go. Um, I, And, you know, I'm looking at the, the, the black girl, and I'm like, man, if she won't cry, she'd be a lot prettier. But, you know, right now it sparks a little bit of anger. Um, But... Going past that, you know, and some people are like, oh my God, you're so sexist. You're so sexist. Yeah, that's right. I'm sexist. And everything I just said, I said women can't do shit. Basically because they're women and, and I'm a guy. That's what I said and all of that. Dumbasses. Anyway, um, so listening to it, I put a, I post this to me, for me, I'd rather listen. So I put it a segment by segment in Google Translate and I just hit the, Listen, but now just listen to it, and when it's done, I'll go to the next. It only holds up to 5,000 characters, so sometimes everything has to be broken in, uh, you know, by half or by thirds or by fourths, usually by halves. I get lucky with that. So for this, I'm like, really? You know, so I listen to it, listen to it, and I'm like, oh, the whole Charlottesville thing, and listen first, and how, and then they're going over the same things I heard, and um, no one really. No one really talks about it. See, I noticed when Charlottesville's happened, I noticed how, um, you know, the Young Turks and Kyle Kalinske and other social media was all over it. And then the next day, nothing. And then for the next week, they just referenced it. And then nothing. And they only bring it up when they want to, you know, pull out sort of a, you know, a trump card uh, in an argument against something that they don't like. Now, I'm not saying that what they should do is talk about this nonstop. Oh, no, no, that, no, that would just, oh, that would just be annoying. What I believe, what I think, what I know they should do is when there are updates, throw it out there. Even if it's a one minute segment, even if it's a 30 second update, oh, here's the next update on the Charlottesville thing and what's gone on. Um, as you know, such and such happened. And then this person was killed. And now they got listen first and they're supposed to listen to um, both sides of the argument and and try to bring others together and whatnot. No, nah, I know what listen first is all about. When I played uh, the video game Battlestar Galactica online, I was part of the seventh colonial where there's a guy. I mean, Look, I'm just going to be honest. I, I, uh, I'm just, he had a great voice. If you watch regular shows like Benson, um, just, just that voice you could listen to, you know, that, that voice you could just hear all day. Great voice, but unlike Benson, the cartoon character, this real guy was a complete asshole. He was so, he was a racist that he couldn't even admit to it. And he's like, how am I racist? My wife is Mexican and her kids are Mexican and stuff. And I'm like, yeah. But the shit you say to people, you're sexist, you're racist, you're fucked, man. You are absolutely fucked in the head. Um, but what did he do? He would say some racist shit. 
I, you know, and at first you wouldn't think it's racist the first time you hear it, but then when you keep hearing it and then you hear them not say it to others, you know, it starts to wane on you. It starts to wear down on you. You know, I would give you one simple thing, and that is basically no. Now, if I, he he if he didn't know I was black, he wouldn't say it. You know why? Because he didn't say it to anyone that was white. But every time I would I would get online, and he would be in there, or um, vice versa, whoever shows up, he would he would have to chime in. Hey, did you just get out of prison? And others would get quiet, that eerie quiet, like some shit just went down, and. We want to know how you're going to respond or what's going to happen. That's what happened. So when confronted on this after about two months of dealing with the shit, so I confronted him and I told him in the room, look, you need to stop that. That's not cool. You know, why, why you got to say that to me? He's like, look, I'm not racist. You know, I hate everybody. I, I'm, I, I hate everyone equally, yada, yada. And he pulls that card. And I'm thinking, I've heard this before. You know, it was a joke, but this guy seems to be serious about it. And, you know, like, I hate everybody. He's real serious about that. But the, the problem is, I'm like, you need to, to chill. You know, there was another black dude in there where this guy would start, you know, just jumping in on him. And he would be like, hey, you got to calm down, you know. And, I mean, that that type of stuff was protected there to to be pretty much racist. I mean, anti-Mexican, anti-Canadian, damn near anti-women, but if a woman shows up, all they want to do is find pictures of her, get a phone number, and fuck her somehow. I'm like, dude, can we just play the game? <laughs> can we just play the game and fight the, the, the Cylons and whatnot? So, that's... And, and what happens after that? You know? He, he Hey, what he was good at was... And I never believed it because I've been through enough bullshit, but what would he do? He would, you know, try to talk the situation down and basically say, look, it's not as bad as you think. And he give out some great examples, things that are verifiable by an ad. So you have to, you know, you, you got to go with it because it's rational, it's reasonable, it's logical. Okay. You know, proof is in the pudding. Let's move on. And then he go back and, tr and, and it would get worse. So this at first is really no different because what I got from not just this article, but complaints from other video channels listen first was let's all bring it together let's be very cnn about it be very neutral let's hear both sides of the argument and let's find a common ground so that we can all coexist so basically what that translates into black people shut the fuck up which is why this black girl's mouth is covered it turns into you need to get with the program and stop bitching and stop complaining Stop hurting. People are going to be people. They're going to be racist. They're going to be hateful. So just, just live with it. And that's the problem. Why do we got to live with your shit? And I know the answer to that because you, you're in power. You're the majority. I get that. Fuck that. Fuck that. And fuck you. Because quite honestly, if you are not trying to stomp out racism by either not being your being racist yourself or shunning those who are racist or calling out those who are racist, you are racist. You're compliant. If someone's trying to cause harm to you and you are in an uncompromised position and you cannot fight back, you know, I mean, well, my bad. If you're in a compromised position, misspoke if you're in a compromised position and you can't fight back and someone's going to hurt you and I am there and I just fold my arms and say hey you know you, you got to deal with it I mean let's find a common ground while this guy comes at you and whoop the shit out of you or girl somebody's gonna beat the shit out of you and I'm there I'm looking I'm, I can stop this being I can stop this person yes but I'm hey look we gotta find common ground like Motherfucker, he just hit me twice. Yes, yes. And there is a reason to rationalize this situation. I think you need to understand that some people are just fucking violent. Have you ever thought about that in your fucking life? Why is it all about you and all about what you want? He just kicked me in my knee, my surgically repaired knee. Some motherfuckers don't like knees. Have you ever thought about that? He, what have you done to provoke this person? Maybe if you weren't here, and tied up, 
This person might not feel the need to fuck your shit up. You ever thought about that? Matter of fact, the truth is, it's just you. And, and he's here. And his girlfriend is here. And their cousins and their uncles are here. It's all of them, the majority, against you. Can't you just shut the fuck up and deal with how life is? Just accept things for the way they are? I mean, damn, someone bitching and moaning. I got my face hit. My tooth is knocked out. My lips are bleeding and cut open from the pain. My eye is swelling. I can only see out of one. My surgically repaired knee is swollen and it might cost me a lot of money and I can't walk on it. Blah, 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 blah. Just deal with the shit. They will only fuck you up for as much as they can. And when they get tired, they will leave. And when they leave, you can go home and convalesce. Go to the hospital. Sadly, this beating is a pre-existing condition, so you're going to have some fucking problems. But there's you have access to getting better. Keep that in mind. You've got access. That's a whole lot more than your kind had before. I mean, that's basically what's going on. So we're supposed to sit here as a minority, as black people, as atheists, as progressives, as um, forward-thinking liberals, as non-establishment Democrats, Mexicans, Asians, don't matter. We're supposed to just take this shit. We're supposed to take this because you got to find a common ground. They're just compliant. When it comes to things like racism, there's no such thing as neutrality. There's no middle ground. There isn't. There are people out there who are spouting things to get others riled up to make sure that they too hate just as much. And they want those people to go out there and cause as much a ruckus as they can. And they want those people to get in power and gerrymand everything they want segregation by all means they suppress the voter they suppress any and everything that they get their hands on so long as they remain in power and when you have something like listen first that simply says we need to find a middle ground work together uh uh-uh because that's not how it should be you're just compliant and you're racist yourself I should not have to find a middle ground on how I suffer. I shouldn't have to find a way to cope with my suffering. What I should do, what anyone I think rightfully should be obligated to do, is annihilate their oppressors, those that cause them unprovoked harm. Those that, when they are saying, we are getting mowed down in the streets, they're trying to make laws that says we can run over people that protest us. So that means if a black person or Mexican person or any group of people is protesting, Antifa is protesting these Nazis and these other racists, I mean, they can get ran over in the street. That's how that sounds. And that's exactly what it is. And they're trying to say, hey, let's find a middle ground. I guess get ran over only halfway so you can only half complain. You still got half your body left. Which half? It don't matter. You got half left. Be happy. Why can't we just kill these motherfuckers? Oh, no, that's not progressive. Cedric, you're being so mean. That's so vile. Well, they're killing us. Running over us with cars. Shooting us in the street. Whether it be a civilian like George Zimmerman, or a cop, name anyone. They're just killing people in the streets. And we just beg them to stop. And we try to force legislation. It's a circle. And it don't end because the minority is just that. The minority, too weak to cause any change. But there's hope. See, a black group... Is about what 13% of the country. It used to be 20. Mexicans are 20%, and they hold. It holds around that 19 to 21%. Every year it holds. Asians, they make up about 3 to 
and it really drops. It can drop as low to uh, 1.9%. And sometimes it'll max out for a few years at only 2.8. But see, with all these minorities, if you group all the minorities together, all the indigenous people, the Islamic people, I think they are crazy. But I wouldn't say Islamic. How about the Muslims? Because, you know... There's got to be a difference, right? From what I've heard, the rhetoric, Islamic are the uh, Muslim fundamentalists that are, well, you can't get fundamentalists without being mental. So there you go. It's in the damn name. Um, so, I mean, if you put us all together, all the, the atheists, the non-racist whites, progressives, and all these little tiny niche minority groups, we, in truth, are the majority and the true, true minority sees this. And what they see scares the living shit out of them. That's why it's the browning of America. And they attack any and everything, if you've noticed. They say, listen first. Find the medium. Right there. Find that middle ground. Deal with it. Cope with it. Honestly, what's that pushing point? What's the point where people just say, I am no longer going to listen first. I'm going to shoot and kill the first hostile that comes at me. Anyone that is not threatening me by any means, I ain't got nothing against them. That's it. I'm not harming them. I'm not hurting them. I'm not shooting them. I'm not doing anything. I'm not stabbing them. But if you're going to sit here and, and be your little Nazi self and you're, you're shouting at me, okay, fine. You start spitting at me or wielding a weapon or brandishing a weapon by any means, you ain't got to pull that gun. Shoot that fucker in the head. That's self-defense because that has already been a direct threat on your life. I mean, why else do we have open carry states? Just saying. I don't have much to say on uh, left to say on on this one. I'm, I'm I was just I was upset, but I wanted to be a little more clear headed while upset, and that's where I am. And uh, that was the first one. Is now hear this? Listen first is coercive, and I will put that link in the description below. And I got that from here's how Listen First has reacted, not listened since our article exposed to them. I'm going to read that, and I might do another video on that. Or, eh, I don't know. It, it seems like the right thing to do. Or, I'll just put that down there too and you can read it yourself. That might be the, one of the best things. You can read it yourself. If I do a video one, it's because it sparks something. But other than that, I'll just put it down there so you can read it yourself. It's free on Medium, so you can see the whole thing. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.